another thing before I move this interview on that you mentioned, mm -hmm. you 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 mentioned about being pinned down by this Chechen sniper. Mm -hmm. You you are known as the Reaper, which is a hell of a freaking name. I mean, you earned it, but, but it's a hell of a name. Yeah. In in war in battle, do you guys are they just names that that just ring out that you like? Yo, you don't want to bump into this dude on the battlefield. Like with with the Chechen, was he one of those people that you heard about prior? to getting into battle with him. And then when y'all find out, yo, it's such and such, it's him. Mm -hmm. All of y'all are like, damn, like this, it's going to be a rough day. Yeah, I learned about him the day prior to going out on that mission. I was working with uh, some Marine snipers and they were telling us this area is, you know, so dangerous. And uh, the Marines wouldn't go in there with anything less than a brigade. And a brigade is, I want to say, close to a thousand guys. Um, that's why they found it weird that we were going in with a handful, you know, five guys, six guys. And uh, and also one of the reasons why they couldn't come in for reinforcements, uh, they didn't have permission to. We had to fight our way out. But they told us about the Chechen prior to going out. And is that what he was I, known as, the Chechen? Yeah, that's what he was known as. And... I believed it, but it didn't, I didn't, like I said, I was cocky. I was just like, these guys must not know who I am, you know? Um, I, I'm not worried about a Chechen. And when we got out there and when you started to engage us and, you know, we found out that it was a Chechen sniper and that's when it hit me and my spotter. And I was like, damn, this guy's good. Like we, you couldn't move. And if you, it, when I looked at, turn my head to look at my spotter to talk to him my head my, my head would get shot at and if he like moved a little he would get shot at it was the guy was so keen then on to our location every small movement you would make he would take note of it and shoot at that area and I don't know how he did not you know how a bullet did not impact this but yeah it was uh knowing who it was in the moment I understood why the marines made it a big deal but when I learned about him, I didn't. I kind of. I didn't care. I was like, okay, cool. You know, it's a guy out there, the, the Chechen sniper. I'm not worried about him. And then, yeah, being pinned down by him was a different story. But I never heard of a name that like feared me, um, or scared me, or anything like that. I, I wonder. I wonder if they heard about you. I wonder if 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 your name was ringing out, like, yo, you know. That that third battalion army uh -huh. ranger is, is this dude named the Reaper. If he if we get into it with him, like it's it's gonna be a yeah. rough time. I don't know if they knew my name, but they, they knew I would like it was an individual out. They knew it was a sniper who worked in that area. They knew that. Um, I don't know if they had a name for me in particular or what, but they were I gave them, yeah, there was a, an, enough warnings out there that, you know, hey, there's a sniper out working this area and he's killing all of us you know okay so i gotta ask you this before i move us on mm -hmm. what became of of the chechen did, did yeah. he make it out of that firefight did y'all eventually kill him or, or do you just not know yeah um we, he made it out the firefight he was never engaged uh successfully but it wasn't until a year later um the same day that benjamin cop died Another one of my friends died on the same exact day. And calling back and learning about that is when I found out that the Chechen was also killed, but it wasn't by Rangers. It was the uh, British Special Operations, the British Spe uh, Special Forces guys, SAS. They ended up killing, uh, I know they were British Spec Op guys. They ended up killing the Chechen and told our unit about it. But um, it was like a year later. I, I wish I had the satisfaction of, of doing it myself but like i said he was good he was good there was a reason why he stuck around and made it for so long from fighting the russians to to fighting us it's years in combat he was he knew the terrain knew the area and he was good he was good better than i was in the moment you know it, it's so it's so crazy even listening to you speak because uh, he's the enemy mm -hmm. you know granted but but there's a respect 
mm-hmm. that, that that you guys have for one another. You, I mean, he's on the opposing team. He is the mm-hmm. enemy. I, you wish you had the pleasure of taking him out yourself. Mm-hmm. But his name rang out so much that a year later, yeah, you got word, yo, the Chechen, he finally went down. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and it's a respect. It's, it's so insane, mm-hmm. you know, this life that you guys live. Wow. Yeah. You have to respect them. Um, I learned that, like, in my later deployments. In the beginning, as a, as a young kid w- fighting wars, I didn't have a respect for the enemy. And I was schooled by the older guys in my unit of, like, no, you better have respect for them. Like, that you you have to like they're fighting just as hard some of them just as hard as we are and if you don't respect that in them is where you can slip up you're not giving them the respect as a war fighter that these guys are out here fighting too and if you take that out your mind for a second you won't approach that situation the way you should you'll get lackadaisical you won't you know you'll take it easy when they're not doing that so you have to respect their their level of tenacity the, the wanting and the will to fight you know, it's all, it's just that, that will to fight. You have to respect it. If you don't, they'll get you. You know, they, they, they are the enemy. You mentioned earlier, you, you like, I, I, I didn't want to be captured. Um, me and my crew, we said our prayers and we were literally about to, to blow ourselves up mm-hmm. with, with, with a grenade. Um, for for you guys, and I know you said that you have respect for, for, for these people, but for you guys, do you look at it and say, you know what, even with all of that being said, I would do it again? Or or would you like like would you warn yourself if you knew now what you knew then, would you be like, nah, the price was just too high? I wouldn't do it. The now me, I would say, if I could go back to the younger me, wow, I'd probably say I would want to so bad. I would want to tell myself, dude, that the 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 mental price is 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 it's gonna cost you, you know, and it's gonna suck. It's gonna be bad, and it's gonna hurt. But I don't think. I would want to destroy that dream, that kid's dream, you know? Like, I would warn myself, I would want to, so I would want to, but maybe I'll just watch from a distance and just know, like, damn, this is going to suck, but what's going to suck more? Like, destroying this kid's dream or him living with what he's had to, you know, endure and, 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 and sacrifice or go through? What's going to hurt most? I don't know. I know what this feels like, having gone through it, but I don't know what it would be like not being able to fulfill that dream because that's all I that's all I had at the time. I didn't have I didn't have much thereafter. I was either going I was going to stay at home and do what other you know the other guys were doing, and that led to jail and them dying. I knew that I was on that path, and yeah. I don't. I, I would not want to shatter that 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 portion. So I'd rather me do what I'm doing now and living the way I'm living now, as opposed to not having a wife and kid because I made the wrong decision on the corner somewhere. You know, messing with the wrong people. Those are my options. You know, I wondered how you were going to answer that question. Um, and it's interesting that you just didn't flat out say. Hell no, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I yeah, would yeah. not do it. And you you mentioned several times the dream of a young kid, your dream. Mm-hmm. And I don't think people, for one, most people don't have the opportunity to live their dreams, albeit your dream was extremely dangerous. Mm-hmm. Um, but living your dream like literally living your dream in some way was worth all that you went through psychologically, physically. Uh, I know your backstory. I know 
what you went through even when you came home. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. just interesting that you wouldn't say, nope, I wouldn't do it. Because mm -hmm. that dream, taking that dream away from, from that young kid, taking it away from yourself, that, that probably would have been death in and of itself. So Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I know it. I know it. Like, that's that's one of the reasons why I didn't quit. That's why I couldn't quit and come home. I had spent my entire childhood telling people, I'm going to do this thing. I have to do it. And, yeah, it would just, like, I invested so much time and effort into wanting to be that as a kid. And I, I dreamt about it, you know? I dreamt about this stuff. If I were to go as an older me and snatch that away, I don't know, that would, that's death in itself. Like you said, that, that in itself would be, that'd be worse than dying. That'd be worse than dying. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.